Hey, what's up guys? Team Hard Life Captain Albert Sertucci here. Well, today I've got a spool of 1,500 yards of 100 pound Power Pro brought in by the customer and a Squall 50. Well, the reason why I'm gonna do this video today is because I've spooled them up and I know they hold more line than an Abbott. Yes, I will admit that. But the thing is, I haven't caught it on, on film for y'all. So to continue on with the digest of building a library for all the line capacities of all the rails we have school. This is going to be another addition to it. So let's see how it goes. Dad. It was supposed to answer for me and me not have to worry about it. But, uh, it's it's the uh, telemarketers like that. The computers it's supposed to automatically answer and keep them on the line for however long or whatever. I I guess I didn't put it in there right or something. So. <clears throat> just underneath the first little mark here so probably end up getting 600 on that point which would be a good mark okay more like 550 yards to the first line which is good because then they can have a mental note that when they see that line exposed on both sides they got 500 yards of line left on the reel be nice. Well, we're at a thousand now, 
but okay. we're still a hair short under there. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It was 550, so maybe this will be at 1100 that it'll be. So 550, 1100. I'm at 1100 yards and I've covered up the second line on both sides, so yeah. I'm wondering if they had intentionally set that up when they were doing it at the beginning. I don't know what anybody had pinned, so if y'all find out, let us know why they put those lines in there. Was it to mark the spool at what line capacity? And if so, I'm getting 600 or 550 and then I'm at 1100 for the second line, so check it out. These are those connections y'all got. Bimini twist on my Power Pro side. I'm going to go ahead and add my mono, and I'm using 100 pound suffix superior for my top shot. And on this side, what I'm going to do is I'm going to tie a worm knot. But see right there? Yeah. Cut that off first. That's the knot they use to tie the line to the spool. I'm gonna go ahead and stop at 1600 just because it gives him enough gap here to play with the mono just in case he uh, loses focus of um, spooling the reel while pulling it back in. So it's looking good. 100 yards of 100 pound mono and 1500 yards of 100 pound power pro on a small fish. So there you go. All nice and full. And like I said, so got a nice gap there, so we're good to go.